stories are the way we understand the world, but also a way we understand the world we can imagine as well as the world we've got. And fantasy is about opening us up to something deeper than our reason can fully grasp. I can think of several conversations at a deep level with students that I've had and talked about Harry Potter and Gryffindor and Slytherin, and, you know, and like they've immediately gone, oh yeah, yeah, I get that totally, you know. Lewis and Tolkien, as great storytellers, as great poets, great makers of myth, were the unacknowledged legislators of the middle of the 20th century. So you work your way back, back through C.S. Lewis, Tolkien, back to George MacDonald, Scottish minister in the mid-19th century, the father of modern fantasy literature. He has a special love for fairy tales, and I think that's partially because they assailed his soul. The heroism, the moral underpinnings are wrapped up in this beauty and imagination and delight. You look at George MacDonald, Tolkien, I look at C.S. Lewis, and it's our Christian writers. They, they didn't see a problem with using your imagination. It's timeless. Bells and dwarves and dragons, and the struggle of good against evil. The ultimate narrative of self-sacrifice, pure self-sacrifice for the love of others. So that's what good fantasy does. It opens your mind to possibilities that are bigger than you are.